Hey everybody, I'm Mr. MathBog here, and this is on problem solving multi step multiplication problems. It's lesson 2 9 for our math book. Let's go ahead and get started here. So, this strategy is uh, we're going to use uh, the strategy draw a diagram to solve these multi step multiplication problems. Multi step just means we're going to be doing more than one step and with multiplying here. So, let's go ahead and get started here. So, at Margaret's Great America, the Whale Park has one section with nine rows. Uh, one section of nine rows, sorry, with 18 seats in each row. Okay, so think of a big rectangle, you guys, 18 by 9. Okay, so, uh, and it says in the center of uh, each of the first six rows, so look at this picture right here. See how they're getting all splashed right here? In the center of the first six rows, eight seats are in the splash zone. Okay, so how many seats are not in the splash zone? Okay. So we want to talk about all these seats over here that are not getting splashed. So we're going to use the strategy, draw a diagram to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and uh, read the problem. What do we need to find out? We need to find out the number of seats that are not in the splash zone. That's our final goal. How many seats are not in the splash zone? That's what it says right down there. Okay. All right. So um, uh, what information do we need to use? Well, there's nine rows with, okay, here's nine rows with 18 seats. Okay. So nine rows of 18 seats. And there's six rows with eight seats that are in the splash zone. Okay. So let's go ahead uh, and how are we going to use this information? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply these numbers to find out both the number of seats in the bit in the entire section and the number of seats in the splash zone. So let's draw a diagram of the section that shows nine rows of 18 seats. Okay. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't. You know, you can't draw this. I just happen to have this picture on my on a, one of my other flip charts, so I just copied and pasted it right here. Just draw a rectangle, basic rectangle like I did here. And make you know put 18 across and then 9 down right here. Okay, so here's uh, 18 by 9, this section with 18 seats by 9. But you know here's 18 seats going across these little squares and then 9 seats going down. Okay, and then uh, let's uh, 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 put it in the middle. So now we're going to outline in the center section to show the six rows of H8 seats in the splash zone. Okay, so. Here's the eight seats going across, and we have six rows right here. Okay, so this area would be the splash zone right here. Remember, we want to know this area right here. So what we're going to do, you guys, is uh, move that up there. We're going to find the total number of seats. The total number of seats are from the entire rectangle, 18 times 9. Okay, the seats in the splash zone are 8 by 9, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and multiply 9 times 8 is 72. Carry the 2 right there. And then the, um, and then the 7 goes up here. And then we'll go 9 times 1 is 9 plus the 7 is 16. So this is going to be 162. So there's a total of 162 seats in the splash zone. 6 times 8 is 48, okay? So what else do we need to solve the problem? Well, since we need to find out how many seats are not in the splash zone, then we need to subtract these two numbers. So 162, the total seats, minus 48 splash zone seats, equals 114 seats that are not in the splash zone. Okay, that's not too bad, is it? All right, let's try one more, you guys. So in a movie theater, one section has eight rows with 14 seats in, in each row. And in the middle of the section, four rows of six seats are reserved. So how many seats are not reserved? Okay, so this is pretty much the same kind of problem. What do we need to find? We need to find the number of seats that are not reserved. What information are we going to use? Well, there are eight rows of 14 seats in the section, and there are four rows of six seats that are, that are reserved. So how are we going to use this information? We're going to multiply to find the, uh, both the number of seats in each section, and then we'll go ahead and subtract, just like the last problem. Okay, so let's draw a rectangle to show the eight rows of, of 14 seats, okay? Now, again, I have this picture. So, you know, here's 14 little squares going across. Here's eight seats going down. But if I were you, I'd just draw a little rectangle and then, you know, put 14 by 8, so a little little rectangle right there and then write 14 up here and put 8 over here okay and then uh, and then it says um, uh, in the middle rows we're going to outline a section to show that four rows of six seats are reserved so in the middle I'm going to just do a little four by six rectangle inside of there okay so those are the reserved seats so there's six across 
Here's 4 going up right here. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and multiply again, you guys, for the entire area. It's going to be 14 times 8. And for the inside area, it's going to be 6 times 4. Okay, so when we go ahead and multiply those, uh, 14 times 8 is 112. 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, so the total area is 112, or the total amount of seats is 112. And the amount of seats in here is 24. So we're going to go ahead and subtract, and that's going to tell us how many seats are not reserved. So 112 minus 24 is 88 seats that are not reserved. So how did the diagram help us? Okay, the diagram it helped us visualize the problem to see that we need to multiply the numbers and then subtract those. So explain how we can check our answer with the last one. Well, what we can do is we could add uh, the 88 uh, plus the 24 to get the 112. So let's go back here. We can go ahead and add, whoops, uh, we can add this 88, which is the not reserved, plus the reserved, okay, and that'll equal the total amount of seats, 112. Okay, so we can just go backwards and add that. All right, I hope that makes sense, you guys. Take care.